I want to turn it down a little bit. We're live. All right, my friends. It's time to rock and roll. You can notice we have the Oprah studio set up today again. Oh, yeah. It's serious. Multiple camera angles. Yeah, just, just, just hop the camera real quick. The purpose is you guys seeing what we're doing, the coaching exercise, everything else. Girls are ready to go, kind of, sort of. They're just asking me about all the things that we have today and how I need to take a bunch of stuff out. Didn't do that. So, uh, didn't do that, nope. So, <laughs> it's going to be spicy. It's going to be spicy. All right, but we are gonna, we're going to get a super thorough warm-up. This is the fifth, I think this is the fifth week you guys have joined us um, in a row. Like I said, we're going to keep this going until, well, sh shit, maybe forever. But, <laughs> but for sure, for sure until this, uh, I would say, this is over. Uh, and we might continue afterwards as well. But we've been trying to, like I said, keep it consistent. Been training, which means sometimes beat up, things are going on. Remember, everything kind of attaches up into the neck. So just when, you know, a lot of times if you're not adding that into your warm-ups, you probably should be, right? So we're going to go get our long, I would say, magic fingers, right? Trying to get that pinky down to the ground. So it's constantly lengthening. I want to make sure I spread my clavicles apart, right? So I don't want to be here. I want to make the shoulders run away from each other, right? So we're going to go reach down, right? So first one today, we're actually going to go just side to side. And the thing is, you're, remember, your eyes follow, should your eyes lead. I'm going to tuck the chin to the chest, all the way up. So there's a big difference, right? I'm tucking the chin. I'm not reaching forward with my neck, right? So just chin tuck. So you're going to get a big stretch, usually here in the front. All these muscles that usually overwork when you're reaching forward with your neck. All right, now we're going to do our circle. So we got that loose a little bit. Remember, now we're going to go ch chin goes, tucks down. Chin goes to the shoulder, to the ceiling, and around. And you're drawing that big circle, and then we're going to come back. Same thing. Bite down on your teeth. And do a couple more back and forth. And shake it off. Now watch, this next one is a very, very simple one, but I'm going to exhale as I collapse. Kind of I'm going to collapse my rib cage. So I'm squeezing my butt, keeping my abs on. And I'm reaching down. So I'm reaching down with my hands, turning those shoulders in. Then I'm going to inhale. Chest nice and tall, shoulders back. But remember, I'm still keeping my abs engaged, so I'm not arching, okay? Use that breath. So make sure you're actively reaching down here. Pinch those shoulder blades together and drive those elbows back, but without arching your back. Last one. Good. 
and shake it off a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do, basically get the shoulder girdle to move, but just with our, with our hands down, right? So it's gonna look like this, four back. This should be smooth, right? It shouldn't feel like you're working super hard. So if you watch me from the back, shoulders move forward, so it's up and forward, down and back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, okay? It's like we're training that motion of like, I don't know, shit, I don't know, right? But you're gonna go forward, back, once again, you're not moving your torso. This is just the shoulder blades, right? Forward, back. Because if we get these things to move, so if we get our neck to move better, okay? This is gonna help our shoulders move better. If we get our shoulder blades to move better, it's gonna help our shoulder move better, right? So if everything's all glued up together, that's how you get those icky, nagging, I would say injuries, right? Or cracks and pops that don't feel that great. Okay, so once again, this is smooth, it shouldn't be you know, you shouldn't be tensing your face, shouldn't be all tense up while you're doing this. And now we're gonna go backwards, same thing. Forward, and really try to get that, like I said, that shoulder to move forward, up, back, down, forward, okay? So just going the other way. All right, watch this next one. We're gonna go, first we're just gonna go Ear to, sh uh, ear to shoulder, so we're standing nice and straight, ear to shoulder. So what you're gonna feel is tension on the opposite side. So I'm gonna get that ear to shoulder, come back up, other side. What you're gonna notice is one side is way tighter than the other side, right? Because usually us humans tend to lean to one side when we're doing stuff. Computer work, you'll usually be leaning, so it, sh it shortens and tightens up one side. So for me, this left side way tighter, right? It's tough to get down. Once again, if we give some love and pay homage to our neck, it's gonna show some love to our shoulders, upper back, all that good stuff. So just tilting it. Remember, we're not tilting our whole body there. We're just ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little trick of how you can get some stuff loose. So we're gonna go ear to shoulder, and we're gonna grab our head with one hand and put the other hand behind our necks, oh sorry, our backs. Now watch, I'm going to push this down a little lightly. This is gentle, okay, this is not aggressive. And once you feel that stretch, now start pushing your head against the hand lightly. So you're creating some tension, five, four, Three, two, one. Now exhale and get the extra stretch. And we're gonna do that again. Okay, you feel more stretch now, but you got more range. So again, we're gonna go lightly push into the head, run the head into the hand, resist it. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, get a little more stretch. And slowly come out of it. Okay, so once again, this is, this is light. You're never cranking on this. You're never creating crazy tension. We're going to go on the other side. Like I said, we're going to show extra love today to, to shoulders, upper back, neck. Okay? You'll feel better. And plus, this is good because we've got a tough workout. All right? So same thing. We get to that end range. We feel that stretch. We're going to push against our hand with the head. Lightly. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. And get a little bit more. All right, one more time, feel that stretch. Push against the hand slowly. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, and get a little more, more stretch. Slowly come out of it. Now, now that we've done this, we're gonna go back to doing some of the head rolls, but just nice and light. So we're back to this, just a couple, right? So we're gonna pack our chin to the side, which you guys will notice that your neck has way more Range, is of motion, range of motion, but just go slowly. We're just kind of re-ingraining that new range a little bit. Getting that motion in a little faster than last time. There we go. One more. And shake it off. All right, we're going to start bouncing a little bit. So notice as I bounce, right? So this is just getting our tissues warmed up a little bit more. Also, like as we're jumping, it's getting our heart pumping. We want our heart pumping and getting the blood flowing through the muscles. So we're gonna do a bunch more hip mobility, guys. Don't worry about it, but we're gonna go about 15, 20 seconds just from one side to the other. 
I'm nice and relaxed. Really what's been happening is that me, Cam, and Jess have been working on this dance routine and we're gonna go in three, two. <laughs> ah, you guys thought it was happening. Maybe, maybe we have something going on a little bit later on, right? So just be relaxed, we got 10 more seconds. Like I said, just getting those tissues going, getting that blood going. All right. Cam was like, shit. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go down on the ground. We're going to start in that Spider-Man position. Now watch, this is going to be a, uh, a three-point thing. So just like we usually do, both our hands are close to my, so if you watch me, I'm, my, they're close to my knee. Okay, my hips are nice and square down to the ground. But then what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk myself out to the side, and I'm, I'm pushing that knee out. So this is getting a little bit of an ad adductor uh, stretch here, right? Then I'm going to walk myself back into my, my butt and get the toe up. So I got a little bit of hammy here. Now, so this is a sequence, right? Watch. From here, I'm going forward. Spider-Man, drive my hips down, keep my abs engaged. Out to the side, push that knee out. Sit back. Toes go up, right? You two should be doing this, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to move. Guys, we're going to go 45 seconds per side. So I'm driving down here, uh, out to the side, back. Everywhere you're just getting about a couple of seconds. Chest is nice and tall, so you're feeling this hammy. You can go turn in and out a little bit, get all parts. Boom, and I'm back at it. So once I'm back at it, I'm trying to go deeper into that, into that position, right? Hold, one, two. Come out to the side, one, two. Come back here. You can turn out, lateral hammy, adductor, boom, back in, right? So keep working that for another 15 to 20 seconds, and we're going to switch sides, right? So what we're just trying to do is get, obviously, different points and turn that toe out and in. There we go. And every time you go through it, you're just trying to get deeper into that Spider-Man lunge position. When I go out to the side, am I ripping the yep. knee out? Yep, when you go out to the side, push that knee out a little bit, right? Don't let it collapse. Push it out a little bit, and you're going to feel different areas of that hip that attaches in there. Last couple of seconds. Three, two, one, and switch it up, other side. Like I said, if we can, we're going to do as thorough of a warm-up as possible. So today we're going to get thorough. All right, let's go. Obviously, this side is spicy. Mmm, mmm. Right, so I'm going to try... If you get that front angle now on this side, right? When I'm here, notice how tight I am close in. And then when I go out, okay, I'm still pushing my hip down, right? But now because this knee's out, I get more adductor. Then I come back and I'm aligned again. But now I'm going to turn my toe in right here, locked out leg. And then I'm going to turn my toe out. Woo, lateral hammy. What up? And then just come back forward and try to get deeper into, like I said, this position, right? Still keeping my back nice and flat, spine nice and tall, all that good stuff, right? Coming out, coming back in. So we're gonna go 20 more seconds on this one. Like I said, by the time we get started, the key is that you guys feel good, right? Because then for a while, you're probably not gonna feel that good. <laughs> and then you're gonna feel good again, you'll feel great again. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're gonna go into our quadruped, our all fours position now. With, and we're gonna do some, car, some hip cars. Show, show our hips some love here. So we're gonna go a little bit faster than maybe what we usually do, but still, it's gonna be good. So we're on all fours, I'm pushing that ground away. I got a nice flat back, okay? From here, I'm gonna go drive my knee in, and then I'm gonna come out to the side. Now notice, my ankle and my knee are in the same line, okay? Once I can't go any further, I'm going to start turning my hip in. Once it can't go, I'm going to bring it back around, okay? And then back in. Up, turn, loops around, feel my butt cheek, and back in. And so the kicker is to not have, right? So if I'm coaching up Cam here, keep going, her back is nice and flat, all right? So Boom, turn it in, turn it around. Her back never rotates and shifts. You can see same thing with Jess here, right? If I put a cup of water right here, it's not falling, okay? We got another 20 seconds. Everything is moving. Like we're, we're training that hip joint 
to move through his full ranges of motion in a safe position. And then we're going to go other side. As you can see, that's more like five, four, three, two, one, and switch. All right, we're going to go other side. Same thing. Remember, we're pushing the ground away and creating some tension in the core so you're not doing this and arching your back, right? Arching or rotating your back. Everything's coming from the hip. Nice long spine. All right, so they're thinking top of the head, sacrum, nice and long, extended. Slow and controlled. We've got 15 more seconds. Nice job, ladies. There you go. Elbows stay nice and locked out. Right? So when the elbows start bending, you're compensating a little bit. You've got to keep them nice and long. Right? Chest tall, elbows long, tall spine. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're going to stand up, and we're going to combo. So we're just going to combo a whole bunch of stuff. Obviously, we did the Spider-Man lunge, but now we're going to go from our high knee. Right? So we're going to work our stability. So this is how it works. Okay? High knee, we're going to hold that for a couple of seconds. So 1,001, 1,002. Then we're going to go down into our airplane slash RDL. We're going to hold that for a couple of seconds. One, two. And then we're going to drop forward and do our lizard. So reach and come all the way back around. Okay? Bam. And then we step out of it. We do that on the opposite side. Boom. 1,001, 1,002. Come down into... That audio, I got to feel my whole foot. So I'm feeling the stretch in my hamstring. I still got that great posture. Right from there, I drop into my Spider-Man lunge. But now we're going to add that reach. Remember, I'm trying to get my shoulder blade to pretty much come out. And then I'm following my, with my eyes, opening up that upper back. Right? Back down, punch out of it. Okay? So we're going to do a little over a minute, and we're going to alternate. Ready? Let's go. So we're going to hold for two seconds when you're there. Thousand one. 1,002, go into the RDL. So we're doing that as stability work, but we're also getting that nice stretch, active stretch in the hammy. All right, once we're there, like reach for it, reach for it, reach for it. Keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching. There we go. Good job, Cam. Nice upper back rotation. Just walked it back. Keep it going. <laughs> just, just, just added a walk back. That's okay. That's, that's, good, that's good for dynamic warm-ups too. Alternate. There you go. Feel that whole foot. Reach back with the heel. Right? When you reach back, we can get that separation of the hip. Get a couple of seconds in that position. Nice, Jess. Got the rock star here going on. Yep. Now we, the goal in the lizard, like I said, is to get that shoulder blade to come out. Right? So you're not just rotating. You're reaching with that shoulder blade. Try to get it to come out the whole time as you're coming around, right? Really, really important. Cam's on this new program I wrote her, so she's just like hurting all week. <laughs> so bonus, bonus points, bonus points. All right, last five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, last one. We're going to do squat to stand, but we're going to add a little bit of a kind of thoracic rotation in there. So as always, we hook our feet. Remember, we create tension here in our feet, and we're going to pull ourselves down. But then one, one hand stays hooked. The other one's going to just look to the side and reach, right? And then we're going to go other side, push the knee into the elbow, and then we're back up. Butt comes up, feel the hammy, pull yourself back down, okay? So we go 45 seconds. Ready? Let's go. They go use that knee as a lever to create tension to give you the possibility to get nice and opened up on that. I'm worried right now. It's warm up. It's warm ups. <laughs> Cam's like, mm. <laughs> nice warm up. Nice warm up. Remember, guys, create that tension on the toes. Right. Very, very important. Don't just like clip your hands and don't do anything to them. Pull on the toes to create that core lat engagement 
So it's, you're moving from your hips, not from your low back, other areas. There we go. All right, so you use the toes to create that tension. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're just going to do two quick, like I said, this has been pretty thorough. Uh, we're just going to get two quick kind of movement, bouncy ones, CNS uh, activation drills. So we're going to go side to side hops. We're going to go close ones, right? So slalom jumps real close. Then when I say wide, you're just going to go hop a little bit wider, right? So close and then just wider, All right? So that's going to be first one. We got high knees and then we're ready to rock and roll. And we're going to go through the workout and explain it before we go into it, okay? All right, so slalom jumps first, about 10 seconds. Quick feet, let's go. Touch and go. Touch and go. So stand on the balls of your feet. Remember, it's like if you took your shoes off, hot coals on the ground, you got to leave the ground quick. All right, let's go wider. Bounce over wider. There you go. Nice and relaxed. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right. And split stance. Uh, and all right, let's go high knees. Last one, 15 seconds. Ramping it up, starting about 50%. And then we're just going to go up by 10%. Ready, set, let's go. Let's go punch that ground. That's how you know it's week five and you know it's been rough. The high knees are looking a little like, what's up? So this is real. This is real world. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right. Quick sip of water. I'm going to have a quick sip of bang. This lady's going to take a quick sip of hydration and then we're rocking and rolling. Okay. So here's what we're doing today. I got to look, let me, let me borrow, borrow one of your bells. If you got a kettlebell or if you have a dumbbell, we're going to have two exercises with those. If you don't have them, do not worry. We got modifications. This can be full body weight, no problem. What we're doing is we're doing 12 exercises, okay? And they're all basically in one circuit. But every four exercises is a different interval time. So the first four exercises are 60 seconds of work, so a whole minute, 15 of rest. The next four are 40 seconds of work, and then there's 20 seconds of rest. And the last four are 20 seconds of work and 40 seconds of rest. So it's almost like the beginning, we start with more time under tension, right? Exercises, more time under tension. The second one starts getting more metabolic. The last one, we're going really faster paced, but we have longer breaks. Right, so I'm going to quickly go through these 12 exercises because you guys are going to go work with us anyways. After the 12, we got a break, and we're doing it all over again. Right, so it's two times 12 minutes, right, a little over 12 minutes. Right, okay. So number number one exercise is kettlebell swings. So if you have a bell, if you have a dumbbell, it's either swings or you can do a kettlebell deadlift, or you'll just do a hinge jump, and I'll explain it. Right, so if you're doing a swing, it's that hinge position. Remember, hip above knee, shoulder above hip. Chest nice and tall. You can see the logo on my chest. Throwing it back. Right? If you want to do deadlifts, that same position, but now you're touching and going. Okay? Now, if you don't have a bell, same position. Imagine this swing position. Arms are back. Now, you're not doing maximum jumps because it's a minute long. Right? You're just having this nice cadence, loading up the hip and going for 60 seconds. Now, number two, we're doing a push-up with a reach wraparound. So what that means is I'm going to be here. I'm going to push up, come up, reach, come around. Other side, push up, reach, come around. Notice my hips are not moving, right? Because my core is working. I'm, not, I'm preventing that from happening. So I'm trying to reach and come around, boom, bring it back down. Number three, anterior lunge and skip. So remember, anterior lunge, I can touch the ground. My back leg is locked out. I'm going to come up and skip. Now this one, at 30 seconds, switch. We're going to switch. OK? So we're loading that glute up a little more. It's almost like that deadlift position with one leg back, right? Deadlift, one leg back. So 30-30, we're switching that up. Number three, we're doing a little different hollow hold variation. So we go into a hollow hold position, boom, reaching here, 
But then this knee is going to come in and I'm going to push my knee against my hand and my hand against my knee. The harder I push, the harder this becomes. Halfway through, oh, right here, switch. Right, so me pushing against the knee creates, first of all, gets the hip flexor on, turned on, then it makes the abs work way harder. Right, so as, that's our four drills for the minutes. Now, we start the second part. This is a challenging one. We do broad jump into crawl back, okay? Which means I'm going to broad jump. Okay, now let's say you can't broad jump far. You can do two squat jumps and you go one, two, right? Bam, okay? Staying athletic, so, but if you can, you're broad jumping, dropping down, reverse bear crawling. Tough one, you can see, challenging. That's why I said it's gonna change, the intensity is changed, the intent changes. Number two, if you have a bell or a dumbbell, we're doing a kettlebell clean in the squat. So I'm going to clean, squat. Okay, now, if you do not have a bell, we're going to do one and a half rep prisoner squats. So hands behind, we're still working that upper back. You're going to be here. No, never locking out though, notice. I'm not locking out at the top, my chest is tall. I go all the way down, halfway up, all the way up, never locking out. Constant tension on the quads. But we're keeping that position to get that upper back working as well. Number three is a push back into lunge. I'm going to show you guys two variations of this one. So we're here in that push back position. We come forward. Notice how it's very smooth to move from this. So it loads up the quads a lot. Now you could be on your knees also. So notice, I can regress this, be on the knees and then come up. My knee never leaves the ground. I can be here, okay? Your call, right? And then last one on this second four, uh, set four minutes is a plank with a knee to elbow. So, we're in a plank position, and we're going with that Spider-Man driving up, right? Keeping that good posture. And then the last four, we have more intense. So first one is jumping lunges. Remember, this is where we only got 20 seconds shorter. We're getting that air, right? We're trying to get as much air as we can, jumping lunges. Number two, we have our crawl hops. So remember, we're in a crawl position where we're explosive with the whole body. Number three, high knees. You guys already know, for 20 seconds, we're punching, running as fast as we can. And last one, we have lateral slides, right? Just a couple steps for 20 seconds, okay? 12 rounds is up, take a nice two to three minute break, and then we do it again, right? Let's get it ready. See the girls are, just like getting them, their mind right. All right, you got a bell? You're going deads? Cool. There we go. I'll give you this one. All right, guys, we're going in 35 seconds because that's when the timer's going to hit. I'm watching the timer. Make sure, as you saw this circuit, that you didn't just bounce. I know some people are probably like, let me see what's, what's up. Uh, nah, I'm going to go to the store. Now nah, I'm watching Netflix. All right, 15 seconds, guys. So remember, first, you got either kettlebell deadlifts, kettlebell swings, or that hinge jump. Doesn't have to be max. Let's get it ready. Let's get zoned in, guys. It's 60 seconds now. Get set. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Hips a little bit higher, Cam. Hips a little bit higher. More hingy. There we go. Good. A little more hingy. Feel that whole foot. Nice, just a smooth cadence, guys. If you're doing, like I said, swings or deadlifts, you're not going crazy all out. Nice and smooth, right? Time under tension. There we go. Long spine. Good. Eyes go with the neck. Halfway, guys. Stick with it. 
Feel that whole foot on the ground? Big toes too, Jess? There we go. There we go. Nice. 20 seconds. If it gives you any peace of mind, the intervals get shorter. Probably shouldn't, but if it does. 15 seconds. Let's go. Nice and tall. Nice and tall. Quality posture, guys. Remember, quality first. Intensity second. We want to be intense, but quality is first. Four, three, two, one, and break. Shake it off. 15 seconds. So remember, we got push up with that reach. You can also do that push up off the knees, right? You can do it off the knees, alternating on the side that you're going to reach and come around with. Get it ready. Going in four, three, two, one, and let's go. Reach, come around. Circle. Nah, so you're going to the side, like so right there, and then bring it back down. Boom, bring it back down, other side. Yep, there you go. So we're adding some core there. Anti-rotation, hips gotta stay in check. If you gotta drop down to the knees and do that, that's, that's fine. Keeping those same postures. There you go, do not let the hips rotate. Good job, Jess, good job, Cam, great, great work. We're past halfway, guys, past halfway. There we go. Think that body English, like everything stays nice and locked. That arm comes around, but everything else staying nice and solid. Great job, ladies. Way to work, way to work. We got last 10 seconds right here. There we go, there we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. Cam was like, that's it. Dunsky. Anterior lunge with a skip. Remember, halfway through, I'm going to say change, right? So remember, back leg is locked out. I'm feeling my butt cheek here. I punch up. Boom. Back. Punch. Back. Right? Ready. Set. Let's go. Get that skip. There we go. Try to leave the ground. If you can't, that's okay. Your regression can be just drive that knee without having to leave the ground. Obviously, leaving the ground, you're getting that extra momentum, that intensity. Makes it a little bit harder. Makes it a little bit more explosive. There we go. Let's go, Jesse. You got it. Let's go. I said, this is challenging. We're coming up. We're about to switch in three, two, one, and switch. There we go. It took to round three, and then we got it. We got the sound. <laughs> Great job, ladies. Let's go. Let's work. Let's work. Let's go. Stick with it, Jess. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Guys, breathe, right? Try not to hold your breath when you're doing this. <laughs> Make sure you're breathing while you're doing it. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one, and break. 15 seconds, guys. We've got hollow hole with that knee push, right? So this is actually becomes really challenging. We're going opposite, opposite. So hands go overhead, opposite leg, opposite arm. I'm still in that hollow hole position, but I'm driving. Okay, three, two, one, and let's go. There we go. And push. Good. Bring that, bring that hand over. Yep, that's good. 30 seconds and we're going to switch sides. Just this. Just this. No, no, just holding. Not alternating. 30 seconds, you're holding one side. Halfway through, we're going to switch it. The harder you push, right, so the more that you drive this knee into the hand, the more you get that core tension. So it's your call, right? It's your call. It keeps you nice and locked in. And switch halfway. Keep pushing that low back into the ground, still looking up, making sure you're in that hollow hold position. Let's go. You got it, Cam. You got it. Nice. Way to work, way to work, way to work. Keep driving, keep driving, keep driving. Like I said, this is a way of adding tension, right, manually, right, without having a weight. Come on, last seconds. Let's go. Stick with it, stick with it, stick with it. Four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're going to 4020s, guys. 4020s. Okay? Remember, we got broad jump with a, uh, with a bear crawl backwards. Get it ready. We're rocking and rolling in a second. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ready? Set. Let's go. There we go. Nice. Let's get it, Jess. Let's get it. Let's get it. There we go. Make sure you bear crawl long enough. There we go. Nice. Keeping that good posture. Good. Get a nice broad jump. Halfway through, guys. Let's go halfway through. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. 
When you're broad jumping, think you're like you're on a ski jump, right? We're on a ski jump. We're jumping forward, right, and exploding out. Almost there. And break. Woo! If you got a bell, remember we got to clean the squat right now, right? We got to clean the squat and or you have one and a half rep prisoner squats. If you have no weight, you're doing half full, right? If you got a bell, you're doing kettlebell clean into squat in three, two, one. Let's go. Jess just did the LeBron. She chalked it up. They go drive those elbows back a little bit more. There you go. Good, Cam. Squeezing that upper back. Good. So you got both variations right here. Nice. Snap into that goblet. Beautiful. Great job, Cam. There you go. Quad burner. Oh, both of them. So I really need oh, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Last 12 seconds, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Like I said, if you got to slow the tempo down, that's okay. Quality form. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, so remember next one. We have that pushback. So we're in this pushback position, and we go into that lunge, and we're just constantly moving. Now, if you can be on the knees also and come up from the knees, your call, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. There we go. Great job, ladies. There we go. The burn starts kicking. Oh, yep. Yeah. And it's all quad. Woo! Thank you for my genetics right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Like I said, guys, listen, if you got to take that mini break in between, take it. We're past halfway right now. Damn it. Come on. You got it, Jess. You got it, Cam. There you go. Push through that burn. Push that burn. Let's go. Almost there. You'll know that the last one is the core, so you'll have your quads rest a little bit. Three, two, one, and break. Ooh, shake it off. Remember, next one, we got plank. Squeezing the butt, nice and tall spine. We're bringing that knee up, bringing that knee up. Okay, let's get it ready. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Long spine. Let's go. <laughs> You can regress. You could also go shorter lever and go knees down on the ground on that plank position and then driving up. If you have to rest, try to rest without just moving the knees, right? So your regression is don't bring the knees up on the plank. Keep that good posture. Drive those elbows into the ground. Squeeze your butt, long spine. So remember these two points, top of the head, last vertebrae, right? Get them nice and long. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. <laughs> Back up. So remember, guys, we got now we're on at 20 seconds of work, 40 seconds of rest. Okay? So we're going jumping lunges right now. Only 20 seconds. See how I sold that? See how I sold that? Only 20 seconds. And if you buy two sham wows, we'll give you free shipping. All right? Get it ready. Jumping lunges. Three, two, one. Let's go. If you can't yeah. do jumping lunges, you're going reverse lunges and pushing that tempo on it. Bro, Whoa. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Real world, real time, baby. Three, two, one, and break. Hey, Shake it off. <laughs> crawl hops. If you can't do the crawl hops, we're just doing that crawl push up fast, right? But if we can do the hops, we're staying plyometric and trying to leave the ground. Get it ready. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, you got, you got time, what? you got time, oh. you got time. Oh. Remember, it's a long break, long ah. break. The setup. <laughs> Just so you know, every, everybody struggles through this. Okay. Cam's done a lot of like leg work this week. Get it ready, get it ready, five seconds. I'm not trying to get off the ground, but I'll try. Try, <laughs> try. Three, two, one, let's go. Try to hop. Yep, there you go. Nice. Good job. Just try to get three to four and then, and then pause. Nice. And then pause. There you go. Reset. Give yourself a break. You got it, Jess. Let's go. Almost there. Five, four. Good job, Cam. Three, two, one. And break. Nice. Way to work. 40 seconds breather, guys. Next one, high knees. 
shaking off. Remember, we got longer breaks on this. Key is just get a smooth tempo. Remember, move from, don't move from the elbow. Move from the shoulder like we're sprinting, right? So we're here. Shoulders are moving. We're running. We're punching that ground away. 20 more seconds. Like I said, longer breaks here, but intensity is going to be higher. <laughs> get it ready, guys. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. You got a nice regression, progression. Perfect. So you guys can be at home marching, punching. Great job. Last 10 seconds. Let's go. Finish it strong. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Finish it strong. Finish it strong. Almost there, ladies. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Great work, guys. Last set, best set in round one. We got lateral slides. Remember, just a short. You can do just two to three to the side. Boom. All right? Keeping that distance between the feet. All right? Try not to get the feet close together so you're not tripping yourself or crossing them. Notice, when I go, I keep that distance. All right? I keep that distance. Okay? Cam got that sock game again. Let's see that slide. We have the electric slide. Do about like three to the left, three to the right. Get it ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. Good. Nice, Jess. Nice, Cam. There you go. Keep that space. Keep that space in between the feet. Almost there. Let's go. Push it, push it. Less than 10 seconds to go. Come on, finish it strong. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. One, and break. All right, guys, three, we're going to do two and a half to three minutes. Right, get your sip of water, hydrate, get that breather. We're coming back. We got one more round of that. Right, one more round of that. We're getting mentally prepared. That's how you feel? Okay, all right. All right. Get that recovery. Make sure you guys are breathing, right? It's really easy to be tired from these sets and just go through your rest break, like, <laughs> right? And then you're not getting oxygen. Exhale fully. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. <sighs> During your breaks, that's what you want to do. Bring that heart rate down so you're more ready to go, right? So you're not spending these two, three minutes going through that rest break with high heart rate constantly wheezing, not taking enough air. You two warmed up for round two? Yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be, now, now, now it's going to be, now it's going to be smooth. They got it down. It's going to be smooth. That challenges it. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys, we're going to go another 60 to 90 seconds. See, we're doing up the LeBron up in here. This is, what, this, is, this is what happens here. This is what happens in real time. All right, guys, start getting it ready. Means mentally get prepped for round two, right? Once again, hey, listen, guys, like on, on the 60-second ones, smooth cadence. It's not like, hey, how many can you get in 60 seconds and go all out and crush yourself? It's just having a smooth cadence, breathe through drills. As we go towards the last circuit of 2040, that's when we really push it, right? So imagine that... The last part, the intensity is the highest. The first part, we're just trying to go like in a nice smooth tempo with quality form, All right? We got 35 seconds before we're rocking and rolling, guys, okay? So you can choose, once again, you can choose your swings, you can choose your deadlifts. If you're doing swings, you're breathing through it, right? There's a big difference between doing a swing, I'll, I'll take this one real quick, where I can go, or I can go, I want this second one, right? 40, 60, okay? Let's get it ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Smooth. There we go. Smooth cadence. Think like one every three seconds. You're probably going to get about 20 reps. And breathing. So one, two, three. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Good. Good job, guys. There you go. There you go. Keep breathing. Squeeze that belt. Create that tension. Hips go back. 
past halfway. You gotta go slow it down. Slow it down if you need to. Get a little pause at the bottom. There we go. 20 seconds. Keep breathing, guys. Keep breathing. Good posture, though, no matter what. They go chest tall, chest tall, chest tall, chest tall. Last 10 seconds, guys. But lower, there we go. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. 15 seconds. We got push up with the reach, guys. Push up with the reach. Regress however you need to. Get it ready. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Remember, if you got to take a break in between and take a five second breather, you go regress to knees if you need to, Cam, on that one. No. No. I shall not. There we go. Nice. Or if you got to pause, pause in that top push up position and just hold a plank. Nice. There we go. <laughs> I'll come close enough to, to where you can hear Cam going. Uh. Past 30, let's go. We're past halfway right now, guys. Don't let those hips shift, right? That's the key here. There we go. Let's go. Reach, wrap around, back down. Nice. Reach, wrap around, back down. There we go. Last 12 seconds, guys. Let's go. Quality reps. How many good quality reps can we get on this? Nice. Can't wait to push through that one. There we go. Three, two, one, and break. 15 seconds, let's go, breathe, standing up. We got anterior lunge into skip. Remember, long leg in the back. If you can touch the ground, great. Get in that pop, right? Get it ready. Three, two, one, let's go. We're switching halfway on this one. Find your cadence, let's go. Try to touch the ground so it gets your hips far back. There we go, and you get that range. Cam's got a further way down right there. Step a little further back on that one. There we go. Yep. There we go. Nice. Keep working, guys. And halfway switch. Let's go. Nice. So regress it without the skip. Or like I said, keep that skip in there. It doesn't have to be the most explosive rep of all time because we're still doing 40 seconds of it, right? It's just adding that extra intensity. There we go. Let's go less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. We're going to hollow hold with that knee drive. Remember, we're driving that knee, so push the knee into the hand, hand into the knee. Get it ready. Five seconds. <laughs> Get set. Let's go. There you go. Drive, drive, drive. Bring that foot up a little bit higher. There you go. Good, Just Good. Point that toe cam. Nice. Good. Nope, that one's fine. Yep, that's good. There we go. Keep pushing. Like I said, you, you control that tension, guys. We've got 10 more seconds on that one side. Low back is pushing into the ground. Pushing into the ground. Three, two, one. Switching sides. Other side. There we go. Still looking forward. We still got that, like I said. Hollow hold position, abs on. You go push that low back into the ground. Push it into the ground. All right, so there should be no curve into it. Let's go. We're almost there, guys. Last 10 seconds. Keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Popping up. We're going 40 20. No, 40 20. Broad jump into crawl. Oh, man, this Broad crawl. jump into reverse crawl. Let's go. Get it ready. Get it ready. Get it ready. Five seconds, guys. Modify your jumps if you need to. Set. Let's go. Just, just find a spot where you're jumping from and crawl back to that jump. Yep. So that's a great regression there. Doing a couple of jumps for camp, so she's got to crawl back further. Right. There we go. Nice job, Jess. Way to jump over. Great work. Let's go last 15 seconds. 
Nice. There we go. Each one doing a different variation, but adjusting. Great job. And break. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> 20 seconds. Remember, we got kettlebell clean into squat or prisoner one and a half reps. Right on a prisoner squat, so you got to make sure we drive those elbows back, keep that upper back tight. Get her ready. You got five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. Go nice and smooth. There we go. Good. Keep that rib cage down, Cam. Good. Abs on. Nice. There we go, Jess. Good. Keeping it smooth. Good. Keep driving those elbows back. Good. Find that cadence. Last 15 seconds. Let's work, guys. Let's work. I know the legs are kicking in on this. Let's go. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. 20 seconds. Shake it off. We got, remember, push back to lunge. Find that variation. Maybe your quad is smoked and you just got to be on your knees right now and coming up and you're almost getting some hip mobility here if you want to do that. But if you want to push it, you already know, staying off the ground. Okay, let's get it ready. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> there we go. Nice. They go push back. Got some of that last stretch in there. There we go. Obviously, the more you want to push the intensity, the faster you're going those. Right, you keep driving, you keep switching. Nice job. Let's go past halfway. We got last 15 seconds left. Let's get it. Let's get it. Nice. Keep that chest tall, Jess. There we go. Good. Still good posture. Great job. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Woo! Last one on this. Remember, we got plank on with the Spider-Mans. Now, you can, like Jess did this last round when she came up, can you, can you touch point? Yes, you can. Right? So this can be a regression where you just touch the ground. Okay, if you, if you have to, you can just hold that position and just do regular plank. Ready, set, let's go. Keep that tall spine, keep some tension in the glutes, so we just want that, like I said, spine to be nice and tall. We don't want to be too rounded there. There we go. Fire that opposite glute when you come up, good. Halfway, good, try to flatten out this out a little bit. Think long. Yes, there you go. Good, 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 good. Nice. Pack that chin. There you go, Ken. Good. 15 seconds. Plank quads. Push up quads. <laughs> and break. Woo. Last four rounds, guys. The explosive. Look, we got four more 20 seconds. Okay, this is where the intensity, we crank it up. It's the last thing we got. Maybe it'll make you feel better if you know that we don't have a finisher. I don't know. Maybe. Jerry. Maybe. Go, Get it ready. Three, two, one. Jumping lunges. Let's go. Mothers. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to mic them up the next time so you can hear these delicious Exclusive. commentaries. They're, they're great. They're great. Finishing strong. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. And break. Way to work, ladies. Way to work. Great effort. Great effort. <laughs> Crawl hops. Remember, try to get, like, once again, if, if you can get two to three explosive hops, then just pause it, right? So we can be here, go one, two, three, pause. Okay. One, two, right? So you can just reset in between if you need to. 10 seconds, let's get it ready. Right. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice. Good, trying to leave that ground, good. Nice. Good job, ladies. Way to modify, way to change it up. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. Last two rounds. We got high knees and lateral slides. Let's go. Make sure we stay focused, guys. Focus on just the thing in front of you. 
Don't think about everything and how hard everything is. All you got to focus on is what you have in front of you, right? High knees right now. 20 more seconds. <sighs> Breathe. I just think you hit yourself with the, the pamper down. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Get it ready. High knees in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Punch, 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 punch. There we go. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Come on, last two rounds. Stay focused, stay focused, guys. We're almost there. Good job, Cam. Great job with the skips. Let's go. Ten seconds. Nice, Jess. Keep punching that ground. Keep punching that ground. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. What? Last round, best round, guys. We got lateral slides. 20 seconds. This is it. Let's get it ready. Let's get it ready. Ooh, wait. You got 20 more seconds. Remember, longer breaks here. Push the intensity. Push the intensity. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not. I wouldn't lie to you about that. This, this, this one is tough today. Last 10 seconds. Get it ready. Give me your best, guys. Give me your best. No finisher, but give me your best right here. Three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. Let's go pushing, 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 pushing. Finishing strong. Let's get it. Let's get it. When we're halfway through, last 10 seconds. Give me your best. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Oh. Yo, clap it up for yourselves, guys. That was challenging. All right, with that said, hey, listen, the first. First things first, like, as you can see, what I love about this, too, is, like, when Cam and Jess come through is, you know, obviously, like, some days they're more tired, some days they've done more. But my, my like, the, John Wooden said that success is giving your best effort, right? You can't do better than give your best effort. Your best effort sometimes is not going to be the best you've ever done, right? But you can only give your best effort. And so that's always what I ask of you guys and if you live your life like that, not just in training, but in anything else, if you give your best effort, you'll be successful, I promise, right? To where at the end of the day, you can go like, or at the end of the work, I go, you know what? I gave it my all. Everything I had, I did that, right? My, my best effort. So just always remember that. That's been a, that was a big kind of piece of insight. Now with that, like I didn't start today by, by talking about what we're doing it for. We went another week because, uh, like I said, the seattlefoundation.org, you guys will see the link in a copy. Uh, they're doing great stuff. Like I said, they're, they're supporting people on a, not only on the front lines, but the people that need it the most. So families in need, communities in need, and frontline workers. Like all of the funds are going towards that. So you can donate there. Uh, like I said, $10 minimum uh, is kind of like what we've been doing for 11 years now, depending on what, you know, what charity we do things for. But if you love the workout, if you, you know, sweat and smile with us, please go click the link. Please donate. Like I said, it's a great cause for a great workout. Every, and I, I appreciate you guys showing up and busting ass. I mean, you might even just be watching this on the couch and participating by laughing. Who knows? <laughs> but with that said, I, I do. Like, you could be anywhere on a Saturday morning, or if you're somewhere else in the world, it's a, it's a different time. For all my family and friends in Slovenia, it's probably, uh, let's see, what, 6 o'clock over there, 6 p.m. Um, thank you for joining us. Love and appreciate you guys. And uh, we will see you here next Saturday and every Saturday while this is going on. Thank you again. Peace out.